Hey guys, okay, this is really cool. I have Marina here with me and you may have seen our other episodes where we shot her, but you didn't see any images. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna go through the process where I go over with the client and I show them their images. We pick the ones we like that she's gonna use for her own personal branding purposes. And we're gonna, I'm gonna go through the deliverables, how I, what I do with my images from the point that they're, they're chosen and then they go off to the retoucher to the final product and show you all of that so that you can see what goes on over here. Good, you ready? I don't, she better like some of them. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> All right, I have some staples in my work that I do. First off, I'm tethered. I use a tether cable into the computer and it's from Tether Tools. It's their high visibility orange tether cable. It's a USB-C to a USB-C right corner into my EOS R5. And that's really important so that I can get the shots into the computer very quickly. I also on occasion use their AirDirect system from Tether Tools if, in case I'm running around and I'm not on my tripod and I'm trying to get stuff in wireless, that's another alternative for you. But you wanna get them into your computer and you can either go into Lightroom or Capture One and I choose Capture One, I've used Capture One for years and I bring the shots in and then what I do is I take one shot of my subject and I have, I had you in the lights yesterday and I looked at her, I, I also shot in natural light and I had to adjust um, my color temperature and my tint are the two things that I adjust and I make sure that my exposure is correct in the camera. So I shoot raw so that I can make these adjustments and let's say I'm off just a little bit. If it's raw file, I'm able to adjust it. If I shot JPEG, I couldn't adjust it much. I wouldn't have as much leeway. So you guys should always be shooting raw. Memory is cheap. You can just, I know there's more file juice and stuff like that, but you'll be fine. I shoot an EOS R5, which are pretty big files, but you know, all of that is getting condensed and smaller and you've got to make sure you're backing, 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 backing up. Make sure you back up. All right, I use Synology for my backup system and I love them. Uh, and to be able to have my images available to me all over the planet, wherever I go, because I travel a lot or I used to travel a lot. I plan to, I continue, yes. I plan to continue <laughs> traveling a lot. Um, I like access to my files. So they go into archive and they're archived into my Synology. So uh, you've got to have that system in place for you. If you want to get them out of your computer into an external drive, I like to use G drives. Um, but that, that's all up to you and your system, but you need to have a system, all right? And my system starts with, with the client. So we look through the images because why would I keep images that I don't need? Like if she's not gonna use them, I'm never gonna look at them again. We're not gonna need them, right? Why would I store that? So we're not gonna store that. Most important thing for me when we, when we get started is that I like to work on the best file that I can with the file that these cameras are designed for, which is the raw file. So I shoot the Canon EOS R5 and it, the raw file extension name is CR3. So when you're shooting, you're gonna get whatever your camera is, will have an extension for your raw file. And that means it is the raw file. Um, if it has an extension like JPG, it's a JPEG and that's not for me. That's not where I wanna be working. I can export JPEGs and put them up on the web once I've got my settings locked into it. So we're gonna go through, narrow down, basically cull these images down to the best and then we'll go from there. After they're all edited to the ones I like, they will go up to a proofing system so that we can look at them online and then we can decide retouching and that kind of thing afterwards. And I don't like customers that I photograph over retouching or doing anything to my images that I don't approve of. So I like it to be my retouch or my way. I don't over retouch. I like everything to look very real. Like, what are we gonna do here? There's nothing to do here, you know? She's not gonna need anything. Stop. I mean, we had an unruly hair <laughs> over here flying Definitely fly away. About this, but That's about it. Natural. That's about it. I like it that way. And especially for her because she's acting and um, doing musical theater and that type of thing, the casting director wants to see her. She, they need to know what she's gonna look like so when they, she walks in the door, it matches. You know, that's really important. I'm gonna go through one by one. I'm gonna mark these red if you, if you feel that, if we both don't like it, it's oh, going. Yeah. If you it's don't gone. like it and I love it, we're gonna discuss it. Okay. If you like it and I don't like it, we're gonna discuss it. We All can right. chat, we can chat. Let's see if we can stay on the same page. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, no. I like it. Let's keep it for now. Keep it. No. 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 
So no to this one because my jaw was not. That's not acceptable that. on the jaw? We don't need that? No. 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 See how the hair is too close yeah. to the eye? Too close to the eye, yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like, I like that. that. This is your, see, we find your, one of your angles we like. All right, guys, so you got to see how I edit and what the final pictures are like and how picky I am. I delete like crazy, so I want you to make sure that you are not putting work out there that is not up to your spec. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got a lot out of it, and I want you to start getting humans in front of your camera so you can start to get this workflow down and get this going for yourself. If you are already got a studio running, I hope you picked up a little tip here in there that can help you along your journey as well. If you have any questions whatsoever, I would love to see what, what's going on with you and I would love to help you in that department. I am running my Headshot Crew, which is a coaching platform and referral engine for photographers globally. And I'd love to see you in there. There is a free trial that you can sign up for. So come join me. What do you got to lose? You get a week with me. And if you like it, you stay. And if you don't, you gotta, you're going to get a week's worth of content from me that is awesome. Straight off the charts. So we will get you going like a rocket ship if you decide to run with me, which I would love. So hopefully you can do that and you'll be shebanging along with me. I'd like to thank B&H for doing this series with me. Thank you guys. And as always, three, two, one, shebang!